Hi fam! Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel Beyond Passions. My name is Princess and you know me as Princess Beyond Passions. Now I would like to say a big 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 thank you and massive mega love shout out to all my returning subscribers. You guys make my channel tick like a huge clock. Thank you all so very much. On a serious note, thank you all so very much for always coming back to view my videos. Now, if you are seeing this channel for the very first time, I'll encourage you to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it to all so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. I would also like to thank that subscriber who requested for this video. I hope that I'll be able to shed some light on the subject to your satisfaction. Please keep watching, keep liking and commenting, keep requesting for new topics so that we together can keep getting better than what we used to be. That is the essence of the whole thing. My channel is about self-development, getting better towards happiness. Now to the subject of today, how to deal with unhealthy competition. This is the part two of how to handle unhealthy competition. The next number is Acknowledge and celebrate that person that you think in your heart that you are competing with. That person that you want to be like. That person that you think you are thinking you want to be like. Acknowledge and celebrate that person. Celebrate the person's achievements and successes. For instance, if the person is celebrating a birthday or something or anniversary, send a little message. Celebrate with the person. Rejoice with the person. That way, your mind will be free towards that person. You will not harbor ill feelings. You will be sure. Remember I said check yourself? You will be sure that you are not harboring ill feelings against that person. That is how to handle unhealthy competition. Free your mind towards the person and celebrate the person. If the person is a content creator on YouTube, subscribe to the person. Visit the person's videos. Like comment, rejoice with the person. You don't necessarily have to call that person or visit that person, for instance, but it is important that you free your mind towards that person. That way, you will not have that ill feeling of competing in an unhealthy way. Um, do not forget also to like, share, comment, and tell me what you think about all the things that I have said so far. Don't forget, I am tweeting a comment that was sent by someone, by one of my subscribers. I would appreciate it if you also comment and request for topics like this person has requested for this topic that I'm tweeting. The next point is, in order to deal with unhealthy competition you need to identify the exact thing that you admire about the person that you think you are competing with identify the exact success for instance or exact achievement and pay compliments to that person oh you look good you look beautiful oh you're so gorgeous you sing well you smile. I like the way you laugh. I like the way you joke. I like the way you tweet people. I like the way you tweet your topics. You have great production, for instance. Pay compliments to the person. That way, the positive vibes that you are sending out to the person will send a message to that person that you have a free mind or you admire something and that is why you are paying compliments. Pay genuine compliments. Do not fake it, <laughs> because when you fake it, some of us see through it. The next point is to talk to that person. Ask questions. 
You see those things that you admire about the person. You see those goals that the person has achieved that you admire about that person. Ask questions about such things. Oh, I'd like to know how you achieved this. I'd like to know how to get from point A to point B. Please, would you mind teaching me or showing me? Ask questions. Do not assume that the person you're going to ask questions will not have your time. Do not assume that. Because you never can tell. A lot of people are nice actually, but it depends on how you approach the person. So, identify what you admire about someone and ask questions about it and talk to the person about it instead of harboring unhealthy competition against that person. Ensure to ask relevant questions that will help you to learn the ropes. And if perchance the person does not teach you or does not have time, be patient with the person. And if the person has promised to teach you, be patient with the person. You know, people are involved with all kinds of things in their daily lives. People walk, people do things. So be patient with the person. When the person has the time, the person will teach you. And if the person is not teaching you, <laughs> someone else will assist you. You keep on trying. Now the next point is, suggest ways to form an alliance with that person. Like do collabo, suggest a meeting if you are able to meet that person. That will form a stronger bond between you and the person. If it is someone that is accessible, is not high up there or on that billboard or somewhere high there that you cannot reach. This is why I talked about setting your own goals. If the person is high up there, then find someone who has achieved closest to what you would like to achieve. Get close to the person or be a part of what that person is doing somehow. That way you learn freely from that person and you have an open mind. Remember what I said, do it genuinely. Maintain an open mind towards the person and do not fake it. Of course, next point is to maintain an open mind. I've already talked about it severally. Be friendly. If you want to have friends, you have to show yourself friendly. In it, <laughs> of course, don't be biased with someone for his or her achievements. Don't jealous that person for what he has achieved. Be happy for people. Be genuinely happy for people. If you love someone's success, if you love someone's achievements, you cannot attract such achievements. You cannot attract the success that you love. Success that someone else has achieved and you love it. You cannot attract it. Therefore, be genuinely happy for people's achievements, for people's successes, for people's accomplishments. That way, you will attract those things that you admire. And once again, I'd like to thank that beautiful mind, that subscriber, who commented and requested that I treat ways to handle unhealthy competition. But beyond that, I'd like to thank all my returning subscribers. I'd like to thank every one of you. You all are amazing. Thank you all so very much. And to my new subscribers, thank you so very much. Maintain an open mind towards other people's achievements. May you achieve. May you achieve your goals. See you in my next videos. Bye.